This is Michael Oral of MobileBurn.com and today I have the Verizon Network Extender. It is a device meant to boost your home or small office uh, cell signal on the Verizon Network and it's based on the Samsung Ubi cell that was introduced a couple of CTIAs ago. Um, Sprint sells the device as the Sprint Air Rave. Significant difference though is that Sprint sells the device with a monthly service plan uh, whereas Verizon just sells the box upright for $249.99 and for that you get unlimited use so there's no monthly contract required or anything like that although you do have to have a Verizon account of course. Um, what it'll do is it'll use this antenna here to pick up signals sent from your phone or to your phone and retransmit it to a local cell tower and presumably of course since this is a bigger device has more power it can do that with a more remote cell tower in effect giving you better reception than you would have gotten otherwise. You see it has a glossy back uh, Pretty bad for fingerprints, but you're not going to be handling this device too much. This is the port for the RJ45 cable where you plug in the network into your you know, home access point or something like that, Wi-Fi router, whatever. Uh, power goes in there. The swiveling antenna. Some status LEDs, power system, GPS, and WAN. And GPS antenna is located underneath this cover and the GPS is required for the E911 services so you can make emergency calls and dispatchers will be able to locate you for in case of an emergency. It's not much in terms of including accessories. We have this power brick which is fairly large. If you have a weak GPS signal in your house or home office or whatever you can use this extender cable that's included to move the antenna to a location close to a window where it can pick up a signal more easily because you're not going to be able to use the device without a proper GPS signal. The only other things you're going to find in the box are the included network cable, you know, RJ45, Cat5 cable, and the quick guide and the very, very small user manual. We've got the network extender plugged in right now. It's uh, plugged into a access point supplied by Verizon through my uh, Fios home service, fiber optic service, fast internet connection, but um, you only require a connection that's as fast as 300 kbits per second. You can see that all of the status indicators, all the LEDs, are now blue, indicating that all systems are in order. The system light was the last one to come on. It takes a while to connect once the um, GPS has found its location and the network connection is there. It went on for a couple minutes blinking, but um, no error conditions or anything like that. I've got in my hands here a Samsung Renown, another Verizon device, and if you take a look at the signal strength indicator, you'll see we've got full bars for the 1X indication, even though there's uh, no signal strength whatsoever for EVDO 3G connectivity. So it shows you that the box is providing uh, proper voice connectivity, you know, SMS messaging, that kind of stuff, but you're not going to get added 3G bonuses out of this, so your VCAST services aren't going to work, anything like that aren't going to work any better than they do without the box. When your phone is connected to the network extender, you'll hear a short two-tone beep when you uh, dial. You can hear it through the speakerphone here. There it was. So now it's placing the call normally. You can see it has a full signal. According to the manual, the network extender can handle four simultaneous calls, three of which can be used by regular users and one of which is reserved for E911 calls. Uh, you can actually restrict the users that can make use of the uh, network extender so as your neighbors don't take advantage of it if you're that type of person or if you have that many people in your house that are making calls. Um, you can do that through the web service. Um, you know, and configure it so it's only particular phone numbers can use the extender. Otherwise, it's open to anybody in the area. And that, in a nutshell, is our quick look at the Verizon Network Extender from Samsung. It takes about seven minutes from opening the box to uh, being ready to use, um, unless, of course, you have a weak GPS signal, at which point you might have to reposition the device and or, and or add the uh, external antenna cable. But um, pretty easy to use. It. Our only complaints is that it has no... Um, no effect on 3G data, which is unfortunate, but you will get great voice quality and messaging. So I'm Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com.